Ya aho, I say the namaste. Salamu alaikum, wa alaikum salam. And welcome to Shadow of Wolves. Bonsoir, peace, love, love society, love Mother Earth. Today I've been waiting to talk to you guys about the plant called Morning Glory. Morning Glory is a high spiritual plant. This particular plant represents renewal, revival. It reminds us to always take care of our crown chakra. Morning Glory is used once you put it in your hair and you meditate, it helps to open your crown chakra. Now before doing that, please do practice meditation by a guided professional who is able to teach you how to balance your seven chakras, okay? This particular plant not only helps our crown chakra, but it's also a healing agent. You can bathe with this particular plant. It also represents the renewal of wedding vows. That is very important. Morning glory is used for a lot of, lot of good purposes. One of the main purposes is when we lose an object, we take some morning glory and we put it on a prayer altar and we ask the fairies to help us with our lost objects. But most importantly, I'm going to tell you the blessings of morning glory is there's so many. It helps also too when you pull the plant, of course you give an offering, you bind it for binding spells to prevent any evil. You take this, you can make it out of a puppet of someone, if that is what you wish to do. I'm not saying I do it, but if that's what you wish to do, and it's a binding spell. But also to remember that you must always do good magic and good practices. Because when you do harm to others, you get it back. Now, if you're being abused by this person and you're being constantly spiritually harassed, you make a puppet with morning glory and you bind it away from you with any color string, particularly this particular color. But I have something important that I'd like to share with you. Not only, I read tarot, yes, and I'm a spiritualist and a santera. For those of you who are suffering from addictions, the devil card, which people say, oh, the devil, no. He reminds us when it's in reverse that we have to be careful of addictions. Now addictions do not only have to relate to alcohol. It can also relate to drugs, smoking, being addicted to too much of anything, too much television, too much of whatever it is. What you do is you take this particular card, okay, or in healthy situations, and you get morning glory. You surround it during a winding moon when the moon is decreasing in size. You place it around the card and you ask your spirit guides to help you with this particular addiction, and it does work. When you do that, and you say, like, this is an example, okay. And you take the morning glory, thank you, and they do receive payment. I'm just here, like this. And you put it around in a circle, and once it dries out, your addiction will go away. But you have to want that addiction to go away. Another important factor with morning glory is putting it underneath your pillow in a sachet so that you can have prophetic dreams. You must also remember Anything that you willfully want or not want, when you're using plants and healing magic, you have to really mean it. So if you have to do it a few times, you put it around your car, and then what you do is you take some a little Florida water and you wipe your car, and then you tell the leaves thank you, and you can take it to the four corners with three pennies so that you get rid of that addiction. I'm sending you all ire, love, peace, harmony and always do good as the world is karmatic. I love you all and thank you for watching Shadow of Wolves. Namaste.